Like, I, I, I've already been explaining throughout this Let's Play how lackluster the maps are, and I fully acknowledge that they are lackluster. I still wouldn't say they're totally terrible, considering this was my first game I ever made, but they are noticeably bad. There's no denying that. Um, how do I get this one off? This one, number one is five is on you. Okay, hold on. I see the number five there. What's on you? Number three. And I see the number three there. Is this number two? Number two. Okay. So two. Three. Two again. So we can go back. Uh, yeah, that opens the one in the middle. And then we can flip this one. I want to say... Uh, eh. Hold on. I want to say one of the warp tiles is actually underneath a lava flow. I need to double check. Because one of them should match that other tile over there. We are running out of points. We are running out of health. Everything is terrible. Actually, we're in really bad shape right now. I'm going to have you heal FT, and you can go ahead and recover, I guess. So yeah, I don't want to touch the map, but I am tempted to touch the writing a bit, because, like, it's not super great. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. I, I definitely had some growing to do in the writing department, even if it's kind of passable right now. But, like, there might be some scenes I adjust or add or whatever. Nothing super serious, but I do feel like I could do a bit more. I'm using these all heals more than expected, but I also just, like, wiped out Eli's MP. I don't know why he runs out so quickly, I swear. I don't, can't tell if it's just bad RNG or what. He seems to just burn through his MP. He does have the least MP out of anyone, and a fire spin does cost a lot. I just don't know the frequency with which uh, the game chooses that move, I guess. You think it's purely random with how lazy it seems to work, but... I don't know. I just don't know. It just costs him 20 every time, does it? Hmm. Uh, where was I going? What was I doing? Aha! This one. See? It looks a little different than the other tiles. Now we work to here and we get this book of arc. This one is takedown. There we go. I was right. I remembered. Uh, but I want to say we can't just go all the way across just yet. I probably should have checked while I was there. Yeah. So now we got to flip the number one again to get through here. Now, these ones... What do these ones say? This one was four. Yeah. I'm almost done with this puzzle. Mm. Oh, let's see, yeah. So apart from like the, the database stuff and the story stuff, I do need to do uh, a bit of work to make it compatible with my open world concept. This is like, in theory, that's not a difficult thing to do, but there are a lot of like uh, subtleties that will need ironed out because like. Since the game is linear now, it basically forces certain things to be the case where they would not certainly be the case if it was open world. Like, you go through area one and you get Fat T in your group, and then you go, th you start area two and Lilith joins, and you start area three and Ferris joins. But if you can do any area in any order, that means I can't guarantee which heroes are going to be in your party at any given time. And that could complicate matters significantly. I think it would probably be worth it. And interesting. Yeah, I can't open this just yet. There's one more switch we gotta flip to get this done. See, this one is affected by two and six. So we gotta go back to the other side, I think, and flip it there. Stop. Because we can flip number two on the other side and then come back around to this side and it should be open. Bit of an overwrought puzzle, perhaps. Or maybe a bit much with all the encounters, at least. But whatever. At least this one's, like, kind of actually a puzzle. I think I probably shouldn't have made the numbers so, uh, unclear. Also, you can only check the pikes whenever, uh, they're flowing. Although I do feel like the player would probably approach one and check it on their own. Hmm. Don't ask me why this technology exists, either. It's just to get another arbitrary thing. Eh, look, monsters, I gotta level with you. I'm kinda tired of fighting you. 
Even though we desperately need the experience. Maybe I'll fight some clones to make up for that. Next time we encounter some clones. Yeah, we flip the two over here, and that lets us get through on this side. I don't know the most efficient way to do this puzzle. I said I'd fight the clones. But I'm sure there's a way. I'm sure there's a better way than I did it. Uh, okay, so you guys are both out of MP. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. I'm gonna have you advance seal, all you, double edge, and you guys can each uh, have an all magic. Didn't think I'd be burning through these as quickly as I am, but lazy is a real drain on resources. Hmm. That's it. I've run out of things to talk about. <laughs> the prospects. I've got nothing but prospects and grindy monsters to chew through. <sighs> Just die already. God. I regret saying I would fight the dupes to make up for that one thing I fled. And there's all our steady armor. Um, Do we actually have... All of it? No, we still need one more copy, but we do have stacks K. Yeah, good, good old stun resistance. Kinda wish I'd, I'd come here to get that stuff first. Then again, I didn't exactly remember which um, or which monsters had the armor in the first place. Me. Fine, they're different. But yeah, there's a lot of monsters out here that cause stun. Especially later on. It's not just Electabuzz. Mm -hmm. I am confident we're going to get through the rest of this today. We'll still have classic mode to charge through later, but that'll be a breeze. Because, like, we'll be able to skip all of the basic encounters, because since we'll already be strong enough to complete the game anyway, we can just only fight the necessary fights and look at all the silly Pokemon graphics. The, the, the weird font. Mm. And like, it's kind of... It's hard to describe what the, the classic mode font is like. I want to I say it looks fancy, but it, it's like if you took this current font and you tried to make it fancy by giving it little, like, curls, but they're still all pixelated, it's not very pretty. <laughs> It's just not very pretty, is the bottom line here. Have I been slacking game? Did Eli really think it was necessary to heal everybody at that moment? How are we doing on levels right now? We're up to 38. Okay, so we're only two off from what we were supposed to start this area at. I'm gonna be real curious what level we finish this RPG at, because, man... I have been slacking by my standards. I'm usually well on my way. In the new version, there is going to be an actual reason to get the characters to level 50, or at least to get Ferris there. Um, because of the way their skills that they learn work, I changed it up a little bit. Like, I think Eli learns his skills the fastest. He gets them at 10 and 20 now, where he used to get them at, like... Well, everyone has a skill to start out at level 1, but... They could, they're uh, like Eli is his heal moves. I think it was 15 and 30 for him at first. I want to say, and then Fatty was 10 and 20 with the hurts, but I switched those around because they work a little differently now. And Ferris with his revives, I decided he would get his final one at level 50, and it boosts special in addition or in addition to raising your uh, raising the dead. So that's nice. Hey there. Ancient Arcanine. Let's get him. Oh, I'm out of points. I'm not completely out of points. I can still strikes back and scratch. Get him. Roar. Lowers resistance. Uh, I should use the main boss strat. Gotta use the strat. It gets things done the fastest. Especially when I pay attention. Good job, Eli. Good use of your last bit of empathy. Mm -hmm. 
also new, Urshin, you'll actually will be able to use every last bit of your MP because the skills that are currently free, they cost zero, are going to suddenly cost one. That's what I decided. No more free skills. It's like Buzz App would cost one MP to use, which isn't much, but it's something. <laughs> Upwards of zero. Just what I decided to do. Alright, now you can get back to fire spinning. Uh, I've already done all that stuff. Hmm. Nah, that was just looking to be better. Because even though he does have a skill that would match its power, uh, he has two skills, so it's a 50-50 of whether you get takedown or not. Ow. Jeez, was he that low? Well, whatever, I guess we'll fix it. Yeah, I've got his health all the way up too. Or, I mean, I've got his mind all the way up, and now he's dead. His mind is back down. At least it actually worked that time. Didn't have to try reviving him twice. Okay, uh, we're probably alright. Probably, probably. Well, I can take her his own mind with energy burn. There he goes. Look at him. He's alright. We only gotta respect this doge. Ow. <laughs> I should respect the doge. Everything is harder than I remember. Because I haven't grinded as much. Mm. You know, I'm gonna let Ferris heal himself. Yeah, he's gonna use recover. That's what I decided. Use the water recover, because I'm fighting a fire monster. Even though that's irrelevant. There we go. Ow. Actually, that wasn't so bad. Would have been better off attacking us physically. I'll be really curious to see how my balance changes affect this game. Because, god damn it, monsters really aren't as strong as they used to be. Uh, but the, like, their special is a lot higher than it was. You know, like I balanced their attack versus their special attack to make sure that it's about the same. Like, I did a couple tests where I gave a Pokémon, um, a physical attack that did, or with a, or like, a physical skill with a base power of 10 and a special skill with a base power of 10, and I adjusted the stats until those numbers were the same, and that was how I came to the conclusion that, uh, special needs to be double what attack is in terms of, of like, its calculations. So yeah, special is going to be significantly higher. But, at the same time, they're all using the same list of skills, like I mentioned in the previous recording. So they might do even less than they normally would have. How about you don't do that? Arcanine is dead. Got him. Fire Relic received. Well, I think we're gonna pop by the, uh... Restore stone out front, if that's all right. Maybe drop off this fire relic. Showing. Oh my god, Miguel, even when you're not in our way, you're in our way. There we go, we're all better. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna buy some more stuff. Get back up to 30, why not? Uh, we don't want to buy the revivals, though. Revivals suck. You see, if I wanted to get good deals, I'd have to go all the way into town. I don't want to do that. Man. I'm torn between convenience and whatever. The effect of healing. Hold on a second. I wanted to go up and show you what the temple's like. I'm going out of my way, Arcanine and Alcazium. Do you mind? I wanted to show the people what it's like up here. There's a faint inscription. Purge the depths for the elementals and unite them in the water to proceed. There you go. We gotta put more stuff in the places. Over here. Got the Thunder Relic. There you go. Let's go get the Mind Relic. Do the obvious thing, and we can uh, move on with our lives. I'm not fighting them. No. That uh, non dupe encounter we had before, that one didn't count, but this one does. <sighs> I should fix the confusion, I know. Fix them with the flute. 
You should probably meditate. Oh, This is probably still the strongest attack that I can hit Arcanine with. After all, elements are meaningless. I didn't make them meaningful. They're bad. Huh. Although I do like the elegance of the elements that the card game settled on. And I think I probably will go with a shorter list whenever I make this into a full-fledged non-Pokemon RPG. Because, like, the core concept it works. It's like, fire beats grass, grass beats ground, uh, ground beats electric, electric beats water, uh, water beats fire, and that just completes that loop. I think the secret door was here? Yeah. Ah. I guess these are probably the most BS secrets in this game. Although, to be fair, there are other secret doors that just are marked a little more clearly as doors. But whatever. Oh, whoop. Uh, as I was saying, the elements. Mind beats mind, so it's like a separate thing outside the loop. Basically, the dragon of the... or the dragon type of that card game. That's how that goes. And then Colorless just works on everything the same. Don't know if I'll go with exactly that in the end, but I'm kind of on the fence about it. We'll see. After all, I won't be uh, constrained by anything when I take that round. Oh man. I look forward to the day when the monsters are not so tanky and the elements actually work so you can take them down faster. Okay, uh, Book of Allah for you. Was that, was that damage swap? I think it's not. That was Confuse Ray. That was the better Confuse Ray. Because there's the 30 Confuse, and then there's the 10 Confuse. And then there's the Fire Confuse Ray that you get from Voltex. <laughs> but that is three characters that have Confusion moves, and I should probably make much better use of them because Confusion is seriously amazing. Here we go. This one's hard to see. It's because of the style of these walls that it's hard to see that one. So this one doesn't involve a lot of moving around, but we talked to this. Answer five questions correctly to move on. What direction is the mountain? Uh, I'm just going to get these all correct because failing doesn't really do us any good. Good. What attacked Lilith before he met her? Who was Pikachu? Good. Where did you first see Jeff? On the ship. Good. Who lives in the desert? It was Osto. Good. What was the third beast you slew? That would be uh, Gyarados. Very good. Proceed. Oh, but hold on. Answer 25 questions correctly to move on. What does King Sirius often do? He goes, do you <laughs> dictate, think, or try? <laughs> good. Who left the ship to get help? Uh, that was Rika. Good. What was Stinkle Man doing the third time you met him? He was eating dirt. Good. What did the second geyser blow away at sea? That was Rox. Good. Who guarded the castle's emergency exit? Guardian Polyroll. Good. What did you gain from killing Charizard? A fire fang. Good. What did Stinkman have the first time you met him? He dropped the shovel. Good. What was the name of the fish that stole Marty's rod? That was Super Magikarp. Good. What did you use a, as a bridge in the forest? Uh, it was a log. Good. Which person has an older sister? Uh, that was Ferris. Good. Which of these appears in the sea? Um, in the sea itself would be Dugong. Which key is not in a cell? That was the R1 key. Good. What does Ghastly tra always travel with? Destiny Stone. Good. Who was in charge of the monsters in town? Master Radicate. Good. Who interrupted the town meeting first? Uh, it was a little boy. What opened the doors in the lava cave? Uh, a floor switch. Good. What didn't you find inside the mountain? We did not find the rope inside the mountain. What did you push in the hull of the ship? There were, uh, carts. Not crates. Well, I mean, there were crates, but we didn't push them. Good. What was the name of the forest guardian? And that was Mordolian. Good. Who opened an alchemy store? Cece did. Good. What direction is the mountain? I think we already covered this. Oh, right. Um, it's because there's like 25 questions, so you have to do all of them. And we just happened to get the f ones right after, but whatever, it's fine. Ship. Osto. And we slew Gyarados first. And now we can go over there. And by doing that extremely long quiz, we get the other Book of Allah which is damage swap and is the most busted skill in the game. And this is part of the reason why I decided to make uh, freebie skills cost 1 MP. Because damage swap, how it works in the card game is that Alakazam can use its Pokemon power on, even when it's not like your active Pokemon, 
to move damage counters around. And like one of the strategies people used to use back in the day was they would have like a Chansey on the bench and a, an Alakazam next to it, and it would just keep damage swapping power or damage off of your main Pokemon doing the fighting onto Chansey because Chansey was such a damage sponge. It could, it could hold like 11 damage counters. But in this game, since there's no real way to like interpret that, all it does is it's just a really weak heal in battle, but you can use it out of battle infinitely to fix everyone's health. <laughs> Maybe that's a fitting prize for completing this quiz, uh, if you realize just how busted it is, but I don't know.